A couple of weeks back, NVIDIA launched this. This is the latest version of GeForce Experience. And for those of you that don't know, GeForce Experience is a way of uh, obtaining the latest drivers. It's a way of optimizing your games. It uh, includes things like shadow play, so you can capture gameplay. And uh, it's basically, yeah, just a sort of uh, add-on um, application to go with your graphics card. Uh, and you can choose not to use it, or you can go with it. It's up to you. You can still install the drivers without it. However, and this is the rant for this particular video, what I realise now from just installing it, and I haven't even gone into it yet, is that it now requires a login. And there's loads of um, complaints out there on the internet about this. And I, I hate this sort of stuff. Why does everything have to include a login? This is a piece of hardware that I just want to run on my machine. It's worked perfectly fine in the past with GeForce um, Experience. I'm happy to see a, a good sort of graphical user interface redesign. That's lovely. But I don't want to have to log in. And yet I'm going to have to do it here because I want to show it to you guys and you can see what is actually required. So let's log in. So I'm going to have to create an account and um, let's just say that and I might blur out some of these details when I actually put this live. Um, now does this require... Okay, so it requires nine characters, so yet another complicated password. Great. Let's just go for that one. Fine. It's happy with that. Good. Um, no, I don't want to put my date of birth on there, please. Don't want to subscribe to that. I'm going to have to agree to the terms and conditions, aren't I? And register. Oh, I'm going to have to put my date of birth. Brilliant. I could, of course, make it up, but uh, instead I'll just blur it, blur it out, okay? Right. Is it going to um? Is it going to register me now? Oh, do I have to have to agree to the terms and conditions again? Display name isn't available. Let's go with this. Is that available? Right. Oh, well, that's good. A verification email has been sent, so it has to now send me an email, which I'll just uh, verify off screen. That's fine. So I've done that bit. So I've done that, done that off screen there, just so you can't continue, uh, so you can't uh, see all my emails. So we're now logged in. As it now insists, I suppose it's no different from Steam technically, but it's just a little sort of thing that bugs me. And I know. I know there will be plenty of people out there that will look at this and go, ah, not another thing to log into. Automatically optimize newly added games. Mm, I don't know. I don't really play games. Share your greatest game in a record stream. Well, I do, but I do want to do that. Okay, so... Adding your games. To be honest, I don't really have that many games. I just have kind of driving things, flying things. So it's now scanning my directory that contains my games as per my Steam account. And it's only found these that it can do anything with. That's good. So now let's have a look, quick look around the interface. So drivers. Well, game ready driver details, as it told me. So I've got version 37290 released on the 21st, and that's presumably up to date. Home, right, that's all very good. Share your greatest gaming moments. Not really. I've no particular desire to do that. Settings. So this is the heart of it, I imagine. So, games found. So I'm just having a quick look through. So we've got our general tab here, which has 
which version we're using, driver updates, notify me when a driver update is available, and then the card and stuff that I'm using in my system. Game optimization, game stream. Mm, that's okay, yeah, share. Right, so where's all the standard stuff like like shadow play and all that then? Where does all that live? Account, so this is my account. Shield. So am I am I am I have I missed something here? Where's So can I not do shadow play anymore? So share allows you to record, stream, broadcast, and take screenshots. So is it all under the share category now? Right, so all I can find here is if I click on... So share's enabled. It seems that everything's under share now. So if I click on share, it basically opens up a full screen window that gives me kind of various options and I can't find anything in settings. Here are the settings, which you won't be able to see all of, so sorry about that. Um, settings around recordings. Just where to put them. Uh, any quality settings? Anything like that? What is, what is this? This is rubbish. Um, instant replay. Customize. This is kind of the equivalent of shadow play so we've got our resolutions here yeah so this is where we've got our, our replay section but what about if i just want to record i'm guessing that the instant replay settings um i'm guessing that yeah the record settings match these so if we bump this up to i don't know 100 megabits per second then the instant replay can't do much but the recording will uh, but it's all full screen. I can't... It's not like a subtle background thing. Oh, dear. Crazy. Anyway, that's um, just a quick look at the install of GeForce Experience version 3, which was out, or I think it was out about the... Was it the 5th of September or the 8th of September? Oh, dear. That's... um. My immediate impressions, but I don't like to go with immediate impressions because uh, usually you can get used to software and you can get used to the change and you start thinking, oh, actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, I can see why they've done that. But my immediate impressions are, why have they bothered? Uh, I've got to log in. That's bloody annoying. And this is all over the place, actually. Anyway, never mind. Catch you soon.